a unit load device is a pallet or container used to load luggage, freight, and mail on wide body aircraft and specific narrow body aircraft. It allows a large quantity of cargo to be bundled into a single unit. Since this leads to fewer units to load, it saves ground crews time and effort and helps prevent delayed flights. Each ULD has its own packing list so that its contents can be tracked. Types ULDs come in two forms, pallets and containers. ULD pallets are rugged sheets of aluminum with rims designed to lock onto cargo net lugs. ULD containers, also known as cans and pods, are closed containers made of aluminum or combination of aluminum and leaks and, which, depending on the nature of the goods to be transported, may have built-in refrigeration units. Examples of common ULDs and their specifics are listed below. Pallet volumes shown are built 64 in tall for lower deck loading. Height limit for main deck depends on aircraft type. Aircraft compatibility. LD-3S, LD-6S, and LD-11S will fit 787s, 777s, 747s, MD-11s, EL-86s, EL-96s, L-1011s and all Airbus wide bodies. The 767 uses the smaller LD-2S and LD-8S because of its narrower fuselage. The less common LD-1 is designed specifically for the 747, but LD-3S are more commonly used in its place because of ubiquity. LD-3S with reduced height can also be loaded on the Airbus A320 family. LD-7 pallets will fit 787s, 777s, 747s, late model 767s, and Airbus wide bodies. Interchangeability of certain ULDs between LD-311 aircraft and LD-2-8 aircraft is possible when cargo needs to be quickly transferred to a connecting flight. Both LD-2S and LD-8S can be loaded in LD-311 aircraft, but at the cost of using internal volume inefficiently. Only the LD-3 of the LD-311 family of ULDs can be loaded in a 767. It will occupy an entire row where two LD-2S or one LD-8 would otherwise have fit. Policies vary from airline to airline as to whether such transfers are allowed. One of the design requirements of the 787 was for it to use the LD-311 family of ULDs to solve the wasted volume issue. Equals ULD capacity equals Aircraft loads can consist of containers, pallets, or a mix of ULD types, depending on requirements. The table below indicates the maximum capacity of an aircraft for all container and all pallet configurations. In some aircraft the two types must be mixed as some compartments take only specific ULDs. Container capacity of an aircraft is measured in positions. Each half-width container in the aircraft it was designed for occupies one position. Typically, each row in a cargo compartment consists of two positions. Therefore, a full-width container will take two positions. An LD-6 or an LD-11 can occupy the space of two LD-3S. An LD-8 takes the space of two LD-2S. Aircraft pallet capacity is measured by how many PMC type LD-7S can be stored. These pallets occupy approximately 3 LD-3 positions or 4 LD-2 positions. PMCs can only be loaded in cargo compartments with large doors designed to accept them. Maximum capacity shown does not reflect weight restrictions. Actual number of ULDs loaded may be lower if aircraft is at its weight limit. Identification All ULDs are identified by their ULD number. A three-letter prefix identifies its type followed by a four- or five-digit serial number to uniquely identify it from others of the same type, and ending with a two-character suffix identifying the ULD's owner. For example, AKN 12345 deciliters means that the ULD is a forkliftable LD3 with the unique number 12345 and its owner is Delta Airlines. Equals common prefixes equals AAA, LD7 container, 81 inches tall, contoured for main deck narrow body, AAD, LD7 container, 96 tall, contoured for main deck wide body, AAF, LD26 container, AAP, LD9, AAU, 
LD-29 container, AAY, LD-7 container, 81 tall, contoured for main deck wide body and narrow body, AAZ, LD-7 container, 64 tall, contoured for main deck wide body and narrow body and any belly, AGA, M2 container, AKC, LD-1 without fork lift holes, AKE, LD-3 without fork lift holes half ALF, AKH, AKW, LD-3-45 main nipple, A320-321, 45 inches tall, same base as AKE, extensions on both sides, AKN, LD-3 with fork lift holes, ALB, LD-4 with fork lift holes, ALD, LD-11 container, ALF, LD-6 without fork lift holes, ALP, LD-11 without fork lift holes, ALP, LD-4 without fork lift holes, AMA, M1 container, AMD, M1H container, AMJ, LD-7 container, 96 tall, contoured for main deck wide body, AMU, LD-39 container contour similar to ALF, but deeper and bigger extensions. Biggest lower deck container, AVY, LD-1 with fork lift holes, AWC, LD-6 with fork lift holes, AYY, Demi, a half-width contoured container typically used for the main deck, AYX, AYY with fittings to connect a fire extinguisher so as to carry dangerous goods, DPE, LD-2 without fork lift holes, DPN, LD-2 with fork lift holes, DQF. LD-8 with fork lift holes, FLA, LD-11 pallet, FQA, LD-8 pallet, HMA, horse stall, KMA, sheep and goat pen, P1P, LD-7, large pallet, folding wings for overhang, pad, LD-7, large pallet, flat, PGA, M6, large pallet, freighter main deck only, PLA, LD-11 pallet, PMC. LD-7, large pallet, QKE, LD-3 same as AK but made of Kevlar and designed to be bomb-proof. No fork lift holes. Wrap, LD-9 with refrigeration unit, RAU, LD-29 container with refrigeration unit, RKN, LD-3 with refrigeration unit, RWB, LD-11 with refrigeration unit, SAA, full-sized version of the AYY, SAX, full-sized version of the AYX, BRA, M6, large pallet, twin car rack, XAW, LD7, large pallet, fixed wings for overhang, XKC, LD3 without fork lift holes half ALF, position 1 letter identifies ULD category, position 2 letter identifies standard base dimensions, position 3 letter identifies contour, fork lift holes, and other miscellaneous information. Main deck ULDs, on the main deck of cargo planes are 79 to 96 inches tall ULDs with footprints similar to those of 88 inches or 96 inches wide pallets and 62 inches or 125 inches long. A 62 inch wide x88 inch tall ULD is half the volume of a 125 inch x88 inch pallet. The 20-foot pallet is 238 inches long and 96 inches wide. What the actual dimensions of contoured upper deck ULDs are is very hard to know, because most manufacturers only profile width, length and height data. There are several common types of contoured main deck ULDs that are contoured to provide as much cargo volume as possible. Initially ULD contouring was simply a triangle removed from one or two corners of the profile of the ULD such as the common LD3 and LD6. Main deck ULDs use curves for the contoured shape to truly maximize cargo volume. Upper deck ULDs are just like lower deck ULDs that are either the full width of the plane with two corners of the profile removed, or that container is cut in half, down the center line of the plane. Main deck ULDs and pallets are not only taller than lower deck ULDs, they are frequently two or four times longer. They are usually organized like an LD6, using the width of the plane and missing two profile corners, or two very long LD3s, stored in parallel to use the plane's width and each missing one profile corner, but often twice or four times as long from plane's nose to tail. 
Many air cargo companies use main deck ULDs that have both features called dual profile, so that on small planes such as the Boeing 727, they are stored widthwise and have two corners contoured, and on the bigger Boeing 767, they can be rotated 90 degrees and shipped in parallel like LD3S, so that only one corner is contoured when being used like an LD3. This greatly simplifies transportation of cargo containers at slight cost of cargo volume. See also, 463L Master Pallet, used for military aircraft transport and airdrops, containerization, intermodal container, AAR Corporation, parent company of Nordisk Aviation, a manufacturer of ULDs, Rio Tinto Alcan, formerly Alu Swiss, a manufacturer of ULDs, unit load. Shipping Container References External Links Air Freight Container Specifications